What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the Flightscope Bevo Plus 2023 edition to show you guys some powerful features that are inside the FS Golf application. Specifically, I'm connected to the PC version of the FS Golf application. Now, if you purchase the Mevo Plus 2023 edition, that is a new feature that it's not only gonna come with that iOS version of FS Golf, but it's also going to include that FS Golf for PC version, which is really nice. It even includes the E6 for iOS and the E6 for PC now. So it's cool that you're getting all these various licenses along with the additional battery and different stand that I've shown in the previous videos. If you haven't seen those, check them out. And if you're looking to purchase a FlightScope Mevo Plus 2023 edition, make sure you check out my link and discount code pinned to the top of the comments and in the description been helping a ton of people with that want to make sure you're getting the best information and price of course but today we're here to show you the multi-cam feature and just kind of how it all ties together we're also going to show you impact location and how you can compare all these things together the nice part about multi-cam is the way they have this all you know synced up i'm going to show you my setup really quick or just kind of describe it to you so you understand what we have going on the flight scope mevo plus is sitting uh 11.9 degrees seven feet behind the ball we're just over 10 feet to the screen. We're using a Titleist RCT ball. And then I have my latest generation iPhone Pro on a uh, little tripod and it's vertical. I'm using the FS Multicam app that you can find right in the App Store. Um, that's also connected to the Mevo Plus. And then the FS Golf PC software, all right, that desktop is connected to Mevo Plus. And when you do all that, I'm gonna show you how you just kind of pull these together so simply. So, I mean, it, I know it might sound a little complicated, but it really isn't. You take your desktop, you connect it to your Mevo Plus, you take that iPhone using the Multicam app, you know, make sure the iPhone's connected to the Mevo Plus and I'll show you how it comes up. It's really simple. So let's go over to our software to show you that first. So. So um, I'm just going to go up into the upper right to settings. All right. Once we're in settings, you'll see that I'm connected to the Mevo Plus, just like I told you guys, 11.9 degrees. It's nice and level. I already did my setup verification. I know I have my lumens for impact. I'm seven feet distance to ball, all that stuff. And then you'll see this other tab here that says video. Now you'll see here it says multicam server from iPhone. Now there are other cameras available. Those are web enabled cameras that my PC is detecting. So if you wanted to use something like that, you could, but we're going to go ahead and click multicam server from iPhone. So because I downloaded that uh, FS multicam app, all right, and my iPhone's connected to the Mevo Plus, when you go in here, it is so easy for it to just detect and then you know select it and move on. That's what I think is cool. It's not this long setup process or anything. It, it pops up right away when you're using that multicam app and then you're good to go. Now, once you've done all that, you don't have to go through anything else. You're not using focus band or, or uh, body track or anything. You can just click done. You're going to go to uh, start session make sure that you go through this setup process i've already done that you know make sure your targets aligned um, setup verifications done you're within that radius of four inches um, if you don't have a lux meter it will tell you if you have sufficient lighting that way it can use all of its features um, including impact location your environment all right um, altitude depending on if you just want sea level anything along those lines and then players club we're going to select eight iron golf ball you want to make sure that you select RCT if you're using RCT. All right, and I can just start new session. And you'll see what I have going on here is a, is a split screen. So you can do different things. If you wanted to, you could go for a full wide screen of just your trajectory mode, or you could keep it split screen and show different data side by side. And once we take a shot, we're gonna show you guys how all that works. So let's just grab our eight iron really quick. If you guys have any questions along the lines of setup, you know, or you're trying to get this to work, feel free to put those down in the comments below, um, you know, and I'll try to answer those and that way other people can see that as well if they need any help. But so we should be good to go. I'm going to try to hit this little fade I've been working on, see if we can pull that off. Yep, I uh, overdid it a little bit, but honestly, that's kind of the shot I've been working on, trying to start it left of the target and work it back to the right and check out that the camera actually just pops right up. And that's what's surprising is with the wireless connection, it's able to you know, sync over that fast. I think that's really cool. And it's automatically set up to detect when to start recording and stop. It has a buffering system. I can hit play on this shot in the bottom and you'll see that it will actually show that ball fl uh, you know, flying right as I hit it on the camera. Now this is only 30 frames per second. So 
I understand that you're, you know, you're going to be maybe seeing some club blur if you wanted to skip ahead. Um, you know, this is the key is that you can go and look at the top of the swing. All right. And you know that that is a clear image that you're going to be able to see where the position is. Maybe you're a coach, um, you know, and you want to see that position at the top of the swing. You can see that with this, you know, 30 frame per second, just fine. And then if you wanted to see a finish, you wanted to see the setup. Um, now, once you're kind of going to impact, you probably want to skip ahead and you can go frame by frame down here. So we're just going to go frame by frame. You can kind of see the position just after impact. Um, I think that it would be nice. I'm going to suggest, you know, suggest this to FlightScope that they come up with the ability to maximize some more frame rate from the iPhone. I mean, this phone's capable of 240 frames per second. I understand it'd probably be more data for them to do that, but I think that's something I want to do. Now, at this point, you could do screen recording if you're a coach. You could do drawing. Um, there are just all kinds of different things that you could do. Um, and I want to make sure you guys know that. Uh, here are the drawing tools right here. So if you wanted to do some drawing, you can easily do that. There are obviously different thicknesses, um, you know, all kinds of different things you can do. If you need to erase that, you can erase it. Um, you know, if you needed to change the color, you can change the color. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do inside of here as well. Now, what's nice is once you're done with all that, just close out that drawing tool. Let's go ahead and change this really quick to impact location. So let's say you wanted to review impact location. Let's say you wanted to change over here and show that multicam from iPhone. So now you could actually, you know, go to close to impact and talk about the position they were at just after impact and where you hit on the club. All right, so it's really nice and powerful that you have all of this here. You could actually go to the D plane and discuss, you know, what's causing, you know, the shot, um, you know, and take all of that into effect. You got your spin number there, your spin axis. Um, I mean, it, it really is impressive that they have all of this. Um, you could use the radar camera that's built in. I've shown that before. You have a top down view. Um, I mean, there's just so many things that you can do inside of this. Um, and we'll have to do some additional videos for you guys. There is your radar data full data. If you wanted to, you know, change the trajectory to be on the right, you could do that while you're discussing data and flip back and forth. Um, this video is primarily to cover multicam. I had several people ask about how it works, how you can integrate it. And I wanted to just show how easy it was, you know, to go through this and be able to set up multicam using an iPhone um, with a desktop PC because this is new. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people have not had an opportunity to use the PC software um, of FS Golf, um, you know, with this latest release, you know, just a, a few months back. And I wanted to be able to show that if you're a instructor, you may be in a studio like this and you want to be able to utilize, you know, simple camera recording like this, you can do that now. And use the PC software um, rather than, you know, trying to connect it through an iPad, for instance. So there's a lot of capabilities inside the software. We'll try to break this down in more of a series moving forward. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you comment below. Let me know what those are. I'll do my best to get all of those answered. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.